All right, man, torture talk, torture talk, torture talk. We back, we back, we back, man. We back with another one, with another one. All right, man, look, man, so look. All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So look, I seen this video of Rory talking to one of oh, somebody from Canada. I don't know who the guy's name is. He may be famous. I don't know, but I believe he's close to Drake. He may be somebody that helped Drake. I don't know, but I seen a piece of it, uh, the audio, and I want to listen to it. And it might be a long video, not too long, maybe a long video, but y'all don't really care about that over here because y'all like y'all like long videos. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into that. Before I get into it, let me give my spell. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy, voluptuous, skinny, uh, nice toes, long hair, short hair, natural hair, weave, uh, I don't know, big butt, small butt, big breasts, anything. Sexy, beautiful ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, you can. And if you leave a donation and you want me to help you promote or whatever, just leave the link or leave your email. Do not leave the YouTube link. Leave your email and we can converse back and forth through emails and we can work something out. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. I'm going to help you. You help me. That's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? And let me know where you're from. So um, they called me a hidden gem. I went from 1300 to uh, over 11000 so let's get it, man. I don't want to hold y'all too much. You know, I know that spill is long. I'll be trying to hurry it up. You know what I mean? But yeah, let's get to it. All right, man. You know the link is going to be in the description, all that good stuff. So let's get it, man. Let's go. Kitchen, you got that? I was saying the other day there was like Mr. Rouse's best album. No, you know people, you know, you know people are just saying shit to say shit. Anyways, Rory, go, go, go ahead. What were you saying? <laughs> So from my from my understanding, I know you are you have a relationship with with Drake. Yeah, 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 super. So why didn't anyone tell him for Heart Part Six that? that All right, so let me let me stop that there because I I already know that this is not gonna not gonna go well for this guy here who's talking because. I, I don't know what they said in the beginning of that, but someone said it's some people that are saying Mr. Morale is his best album. I believe that's what was said. And he said some people just be saying shit to say shit. Now, I can almost guarantee you that he's going to say shit just to say shit. Because people who usually say stuff like that and don't actually listen to the reason why someone says that, you know what I'm saying? It's because they're biased and they only live in their bubble. And I can almost guarantee that's what he's going to do. I can guarantee it. I can guarantee it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Not what Kendrick was talking about. Like, that's what. No, his, no, no, no. Scheme, but, but, but that's, but that's crazy. Cool. But it was just wrong. No, right? no. <laughs> but, but, but people are misconstruing what he was saying. He was getting into character and speaking in the third person. Like he was his mother. Like, you understand what I'm saying? that That's what people misconstrued. At the end of... Bro, what? <laughs> Are you drunk, nigga? Are you drunk? Do you know? Do you even know what Drake said? Are you drunk? Are you drunk? Bro, he said he went to visit his mother. Not Kendrick's mother. And he said, mother I, mother I. And he said, that's the song that you was talking about? That's why you always talk about because that song you talking about you got touched on. Kendrick never said he got touched, and you're trying to spin it as if he was talking in third person. What are you talking about, dog? It's it was wrong. It was completely wrong, bro. Completely wrong. You can't spin that. It was wrong. He got it wrong, bro. He got it wrong. You have to understand. Drake, let, let me let me dispel because I know a lot of people are gonna clip this, right? A lot of people are gonna clip this because Rory's up here, so a lot of people are gonna clip this. And I know Drake isn't gonna personally come out here and say this, or anybody around OVO is gonna personally say this, but I'm gonna say it. The reason why Drake has writers is because Drake likes to empower people and put people on. <laughs> I've seen Drake. <laughs> You can't 
can't be serious. <laughs> I t- yo, I think we just yo, I think we just found another top glazer. I think we found another top glazer. This is incredible. Yo, I never in my life seen anything like this. This is incredible. It's incredible how people will literally do stuff like this just to prove a point in their head because they the delusion of people when it comes to Drake is fascinating and it should be studied. I swear to you, this should be studied. Have a ting. The ting sister tells him one line. He gives her 50-50 credit or gives her points on, on, on a record from one line of inspiration. Wait, wait, Any bro, re- that's cap. That's, yo, that is cap. Oh, my God. Bro, that's cap, bro. I, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you right now. These dudes be lying and they be capping, bro. First of all, if you are, Drake was signed to five different labels at one time, right? Five different labels. The labels determine who is what and what is what. When he was, this before he was who he was. You know what I'm saying? Maybe now he might be able to have a little bit of say, but that's cap. Secondly, if that's the case in every, all the songs that, that, then he must have, all these people must have deals with UMG because you saying that he got half of the money. He gave them half the money of all the songs he wrote. And, and thirdly, how are you saying, how are you saying that that is something magnificent or big or great when he is getting people to write the whole thing for him and he's taking half? That's not something to be proud of. If he's, if he's getting people to write the whole song for him and he's taking half the credit, how can you say, well, he helps people out? That's not helping somebody. I just gave you some. I wrote it down. I suppose to get at least 90% of that. You're supposed to get the performing rights, I guess. But for you to sit here and say he's he should get he's giving half away. Well, maybe maybe you saying something different. I don't know. But let's clear it up. From Quentin. I yeah. I, I I have been on record on my podcast saying I think Drake is an incredible writer. I think he's an elite MC. I'm not on the side of this ghostwriter shit. No, no, no. I, 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 I know that. Bro, you, you niggas be capping. That's cap. It's like, bro, how can he be an elite MC if he having people write his stuff for him? I don't understand this. You won't you, listen. If Eminem came out and said, you know, the whole time I had, I had ghostwriters and. I was writing some of my stuff too, but I'm sorry. You still got to consider me an elite MC. Y'all clown him out the building. You niggas will laugh him out the building. But I get the fuck. You, he'll get, he'll lose everything if he did that. He'll get discredited. But if it's Drake, all of a sudden now everybody gotta, oh, we gotta respect that he has ghostwriters. And I really want to see where they go with this. I just want to clarify shit, and I think he, he's. One I, of just my wanna, I just want to. I just want to clarify. I well, just want to clarify. Why didn't nobody in the studio go, "Yo, that's not what Drake talked." No, about. because people like, misconstrued the bars, and there was more to the song. There was continuation. If you notice, the there, the Family Matters was like three records in one. Part Part mm-hmm. Six, there's other parts to it. But this okay. is the problem, bro. This dude right here is another master manipulator. How you go, how, bro, it doesn't matter if there were other parts. We only talking about what came out. How can you say somebody misconstrued something when you, your man put out the song, dog? You can't say, oh, we got mis, we, we got it fucked up. How do we get it fucked up, nigga? He fucked up, nigga. He did him. He made a mistake. Just own this shit, nigga. Instead of you sitting here saying, oh, well, it's it's actually it's y'all fault that y'all y'all got y'all got it all confused because there were there were t- twenty other fucking records. Like get the fuck out of here, dog. That's bullshit, and you know it. I wish I was on this show because I would call him. I would call his goofy ass out. I'm like yo, dog, don't sit here and try to gaslight people and try to lie, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. The man made a song. He made a critical mistake. He, he said that the man got touched on, and he didn't say he got touched on. And then on top of that, you're going to say, well, it's because 
he he said it and he had it was other parts to it it don't matter if it was other parts nigga it didn't come out we talking about what came out nigga we ain't talking about what could have came out because guess what kendrick got 10 other records nigga and nobody's talking about those and they could have came out now get the fuck out of here dog Bullshit. this is the issue that i have forget remove me from it and remove my bias it's very difficult because i'm a guy in toronto so i i'm removing myself let let me make this make sense what is the reason why Drake lost to Pusher T? The consensus is because he didn't fucking respond. No, nigga, yeah. shut up, nigga. That's not why he lost. It's two reasons why he lost. One, because he got fucking bombed on, nigga. That's one. The second one is because he admitted he lost, nigga. That's why he lost. And he, he didn't lose because he didn't respond, nigga. No, he admitted he lost. He admitted he lost, bro. It's on tape. Clearly said it to Elliot Wilson. He got me. He beat me. I have to say it. He beat me. He lost. He said he lost, nigga. You can't get around that. The man said he fucking lost, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, he got bombed on. He got fucking bombed on, bro. That was it. Then respond. Kendrick had allegations. Drake responds. Kendrick doesn't respond at all. And he just lifts up his hands and says the battle's done. That's how it works, nigga. <laughs> Bro, you're going off the consensus, right? This is how stupid these niggas is. You're going off of the consensus. You said, you said the consensus is that Drake lost because he didn't respond, right? <laughs> but then you say Drake won because he responded and Kendrick didn't respond. Like, what, what type of sense does that make, bro? You're making no sense. You're making no sense. So it's like, what are you saying? If Drake, if, this, here's my thing, right? This is how you know Drake lost to Kendrick. First of all, why are we still talking about this battle? Kendrick ain't saying nothing about it. That's number one. Number two, the nigga deleted all the songs. So if if he thought he won off of the heart part six, because that's what you're saying, right? You're saying that he won off of the heart part six. That's what you're saying. So if he won off the heart part six, then why did he delete it? Why did he delete it? And I wish somebody, I hope somebody asked him that. He didn't fact. respond to nothing. So how, how did Drake lose the battle? That's one. Number two, Rory, I know you're from the tri-state, New York City. Mars, I know you're from tri-state, New York. I spent a lot of time because in those days, I was helping out people with designing and, and, and fashion. I was a huge fashion guy in, in the industry. So I was always in New York. And I remember this. At the time, Jay-Z was my favorite rapper. But I felt sick to the pit of my stomach when Nas dropped Ether. The consensus then was Nas won the battle. Looking back, hindsight 2020, who really won the war? Jay. That's totally different, nigga. <laughs> this is totally different, and there's a bunch of reasons why. You can't use that battle. You can't use that battle because they both from New York, that's number one, and number two, it's one rapper versus a pop star totally different totally different you know what i'm saying one raps major 99 percent of the time the other one doesn't right and on top of that they've been going back and forth through subliminal messages back and forth but jay started that beef the the consensus is you could say you you, you ask two different questions in one question you niggas think y'all slick you're not slick dog you ask two different questions you said looking back you said, Jay, I said, maybe sick to my stomach because Nas won the battle. But who won the war? Nigga, there was no war, nigga. It was a battle. That was it. It was no war. So if you're saying that that uh, Jay-Z is more successful than Nas, that's why he won the war. Or oh, because he signed him, that's why he won the war. He's not signed to him now. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, to be completely honest with you, nigga, Nas dropped maybe four albums after Four albums, not after the battle, but four albums, recent albums that are better than all Jay-Z albums from the last four albums he dropped. So what are you saying? 444 is the only one that was pretty good. The Meet the Carters wasn't that good. And the one with um your boy, even though that wasn't his album, the one with uh, uh Jay Electronica wasn't was okay. But we talking about magic. We're talking about the King Disease. We're talking about King Disease 1, 2, 3, Magic 1 and 2. You telling me that Jay-Z won the war? What war did he really win? What war did he really win? A war of what? War for finances or war off for rapping? Which one? Because if you ask me, 
Nas won the war because he's a better artist than Jay right now. And that's just being completely honest. So what are you saying? It's like a lot. And again, what did I say in the beginning? I said it in the beginning. A lot of these dudes, what they're going to do is they're going to say something. And they really the ones that mean that. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy to me. Easy. And that's the same thing that's going to happen to fucking Drake. Kendrick ain't making it past this year. Remember I said that. <laughs> okay, well that. I mean... What? <laughs> Yo. Bro. What are we What are we talking about here, bro? Kendrick ain't Listen, bro. This is you niggas is so stupid, bro. And I'm gonna tell y'all why y'all dumb. Right? Kendrick Lamar has been a he's a successful rapper before he battled Drake. <laughs> he has platinum albums already. What do you mean he's not gonna make it? He already made it. All his albums are platinum. I believe except one. But he has all platinum records, bro. He has eight eight platinum albums. He just he just broke a record with, with the most streams. He dropped it. He he has the most awards out of both of them. You know what I'm saying? So what do you mean? He's successful just like Drake is. He has he has more awards than Drake, more accolades than Drake. He has all these things. What y'all do is y'all try to downplay everything that Kendrick does just so y'all can upplay everything Drake does, which is retarded to me. You can't say that uh, Kendrick won't have a career when his career has been mostly without battling Drake. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, I swear I wish I was in this room talking. Like you're talking stupid. Oh, he, I guarantee you after this year, he won't have a career. What, what, what world are you living in, nigga? <laughs> the fuck? Well, listen That's, to me. What Drake I, I think coming Drake is going to be just fine. I think what? No, no, he's not going to be just fine. You, you know why? Is, because he set a standard of a box. I'm going to tell you why. And, I, and I'm going to go on record. He's entering into a domain he does not do. He does not bro, make box. what are you talking, bro? You niggas are, y'all crazy. Y'all crazy, right? Kendrick Lamar has, let's, let's just, let's just go off of three songs, right? Just three. Just go off of three songs. Cause you, I know what you're about to say. You're saying that he set a standard and his standard is he has to keep up the bops. That's not the artist he is, stupid, goofy nigga. That's not what it is. And everybody accepts that, except you. All you niggas that think that Kendrick has to constantly make bops are retarded, bro. Y'all retarded. Kendrick Lamar is not a bop-making artist, bro. He's an artist. That's it. He's not a dude who makes fucking bops, bro. But just because Not Like Us was a bop, you niggas gonna try to latch that to him as if he has to constantly make music like that. He don't have to constantly make music like that, nigga. He don't. Either way, he's gonna be good because people accept him for who he is. That's what you don't understand. You know what I'm saying? He can do whatever he want to do because he is a universal artist. He's not just a rapper. He is a universal artist. You niggas are trying to attach the pop life to Kendrick. That's not going to hurt. Not going to work. He has multiple hits that are not that. So I'm sure that he can come up with something that's not a bop. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't understand. I, ho I hope somebody calls this guy up. He had all the all his guys on stage, all his all his friends, his associates, all on stage. He's never done that before. So now he's entering into a realm and a culture like a Nipsey, a Snoop, um, a Dre, other guys. Even though what, Kendrick, what, what are you talking about? This dude is retarded. I'm 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 so serious, bro. Do you see Kendrick's videos? I, I don't understand this. So let me get this right. Kendrick Lamar does videos, and he has a bunch of people in his videos, same people in his videos. But then when he do when he do a show on stage, and he have people that come out. Now he's entering the domain. How do you even connect the two? That doesn't even make sense. It don't make sense. It don't make sense because he had Bloods and Crips on stage. You know what I'm saying? I would argue that it was only really two big artists on that stage. It was YG and um and what's the name? I can't remember the other dude's name. But that that was it. What are you what are you talking about? What what is he talking about? It's from the cloth, right? He never from a cultural standpoint musically, he never entered that music musically in the cloth. 
So the so average individual you think Kendrick is going to try to make pops now? He has no choice. You think people want to hear Mr. Morales? Yo, that's the <laughs> Bro. Yo. Yo, this is crazy. Yo, you niggas think y'all got it all figured out. Yeah, I can almost guarantee you. I wish I hope I could find another video of him before the battle happened and see what he was saying. <laughs> Cause I can almost guarantee he was saying Kendra's gonna lose. This is crazy. Before Not Like Us dropped, Kendrick Lamar had the highest grossing rap tour of all time. Like I don't think and he's Drake, and then Drake and then Drake just came out tour and then Drake just came out tour and shattered that record. No, he but did guess who has it now? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. He and, smashed and, it. And wait, let's wait, that's a separate art. Like, cool. Yeah, I know. Drake is Drake. That's why I said Drake is going to be totally fine. I don't think this is not like us thing. Is but this is the thing. This is the thing. The argument, you see how, this is why I don't like arguing with dudes like this, right? Because they keep moving the goalposts, right? So he's saying that Kendrick Lamar is not going to be the guy who he is, right? But then <laughs> Rory comes out and says, well, Kendrick Lamar had a concert that broke all these records, right? Right, broke all these records. And then he says, well, then Drake had one too. He did it too. It's like, bro, your, your whole argument is that Kendrick is not going to be big after this record. But he's been big already. Kendrick Lamar is big, bro. I wish y'all understand that. He's a big artist. I don't understand why y'all think that, that Drake is the only, big, the only big artist. I don't understand why people think that. I think that, I think that, this became a thing where people feel like Drake, Drake is the bigger artist. And he, that means that must mean that nobody can be the bigger, nobody could even come close to Drake because he's such a big artist. He has such dreams and so many hits. And it's like, bro, it's strategic. You know what I'm saying? If Drake drops a record and there's nobody out, and let's say uh, he gets a million streams, right? And everybody else that comes out only get a thousand streams, two thousand streams. Y'all would consider that a hit, but then somebody that's on his level, like Eminem or Nas or Jay Z or 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 uh, Kendrick, come out and they lap him, then it's like, oh whoa, he got to keep it up. It's like, bro, your boy's not even keeping it up. I don't understand why y'all not calling him out on that. Your boy dropped sixteen songs and he went nowhere. So how are you talking about Kendrick need to keep it up? Your boy's falling flat every time he drops something. Every time. Ruin Drake's legacy. Like, he's going to be fine. Both of them I are going to be fine. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> he's a, brother, what I'm saying is, this, is, this was a coup. Cool, like, this was a coup. Cool, this is very similar to Floyd Mayweather. Like, Floyd Mayweather was the, is the quote, the, he says he's the TBE. He's the best ever. But he has the highest grossing pay-per-views. Not because Floyd is... People love him because 80% of the people are tuning tuning in to see him lose and 20% are his actual fans. But guess what? He's still getting paid in the long run. So you so you, so you basically admitting that he lost. <laughs> yes, that's, that's a dumb take, bro. That was a stupid take. In, in comparing Floyd Mayweather to, to uh, Drake, I'm guessing you compare him to Drake... Which is stupid, bro. That's dumb. Because Floyd Mayweather never been knocked down. Well, he been knocked down, but they didn't consider it a knockdown. He went like this, even though his glove t did touch the ground. This guy here, though, <clears throat> the one on your screen, yeah, he's been knocked out completely. Cold. Cold as ice, nigga. This battle, people were sitting in the sidelines waiting for this day. Do you think it's they can yes, but that's human nature. a mixed kid from Toronto, Canada, who people think that he's from uh, uppity life suburban? By the way, there's no suburbs in Toronto. Like that's like being saying you're from Manhattan and you're from the and and or or, or saying you're from fucking Brooklyn. This is this is pre gentrification. Nigga, like Drake when Drake grew. Bro, you niggas are wild. For, you're wild for saying that, bro. You're wild for saying that, bro. You're wild for saying that. So there's no nice parts of, of uh, there's no nice, bro, you're saying, that's like you're saying you're from Manhattan, right? But on a, I believe on the, was it the lower, the upper east side? Yeah, that's Manhattan. It's nice. Like, what, the, what, what, what are you saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, again, this guy just saying anything. Grew up. 
He's not a kid from Brampton or Pickering or Oshawa. He's from Toronto. His Don't uncle like happened Brampton. to have some money. His uncle happened to have some money, but him and his mother never grew up with no silver silver spoon. But the, what does that, that have to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you know these dudes just be coping, bro. This is crazy. Conception. But what I'm saying is the, the Kendrick fan is young. You're older. Everybody up here is older. There, Kendrick picked up new fans on the way. And those 18, 17, 16-year-olds, you know, hip-hop is a youth sport. It's a young man's sport. So now he's bringing up a, got a new fan base. They don't know Pimp to Pimp to pimp a Butterfly. They don't know Damn. They are going to do their due diligence and listen to his old shit. But for- <laughs> Bro, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, I swear to you, man. Yo, I got to fix my headphones. I swear to y'all. I swear to y'all, I never, I never in my life seen nothing like this. I swear, I swear to y'all, man. I swear on everything. This is incredible. This is incredible. So let me get this right. Damn, won a Pulitzer surprise. And damn, what I would say is, is more, more universal with younger people than all his other albums. <laughs> and you said that the youth is not gonna care because hip hop is a young man's sport. That is halfway true, because if hip-hop was a young man's sport, hip-hop is a good music sport, bro. It's not just a young man's sport. You're trying to, what you're trying to do is you're trying to validate the reason why Drake still raps like a kid, bro. That's what you're doing, and it's not working. He, he still raps like a kid because he believes it's a young man's sport. He's almost 40 years old. He's still making teeny pop, bop, pop songs, bro. Like, come on, bro. If, that, if that's your version of winning a battle, it, it didn't. Go ahead for it, bro. But that's a dumb argument, bro. Dumb argument. Here going forward, he has to appease those people. And every time, because people, the problem is people don't turn the corner. Like, you can't be 50 years old and still having your fan base. Drake is in his late 30s, but his fan base ranges all the way down 13, 14, 15, 16, and up. All the way to people 40. And that's what that's what Joe Buttons was saying. <laughs> I can't do this, man. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, that's what Joe Buttons was saying, man. That's what Joe Buttons was saying. You still making music for teens, bro. You ain't making nothing mature. Maybe if he come up with something mature, change it up. You know what I'm saying? Change it up. But he can't because the writers around him, they don't know how to write like that. And it's going to sound weird. Like, for real. But you sound crazy. And damn near people in their 50s. Kendrick has a cult fan base and a cult following that is huge and gigantic. So, okay, so if he has a cult following, the cult fan base, what makes you think that the people that he brought along, that the new fans ain't going to be cult followers? <laughs> so just the, just the old fans is going to be the cult followers, but not the new ones. He ain't going to convert none of them into the, the Kendrick cult, right? <laughs> You niggas is wild. Y'all bugging the fuck out, bro. <laughs> he, they want to hear Bob. And Drake actually made them, made him come out and rock. So, like, we've never heard this much, this volume of music from Kendrick, ever. What? Oh, my God. Bro, he dropped four songs, nigga. <laughs> he only dropped four songs. What do you mean you never heard this bunch of volume of music? He only dropped four. That's it. Four songs, and it was because it was a battle. It was like, oh, now, now it's now, now the argument is now the now the argument is Drake. The reason why Drake is the winner is because he made Kendrick <laughs> come out and beat him. <laughs> Yo, you niggas is funny as shit. This is crazy. I want to start with saying I only asked uh, why he didn't really listen to Mr. No, but people misinterpreted the. <laughs> People misinterpreted the song because exactly um, I, what it I was. I also it's, think Kendrick is, is probably he's probably not caring about these new young fans that he just no no no. But this is what I'm I saying. I think he's going to continue to do. I think why he, he even did fun. this battle. 
And, and all these Kendrick people say, he doesn't care for number ones. He doesn't care for this. He doesn't care for that. He's always wanted this. You cannot be a competitor. You cannot be someone and just say, oh, I don't care. I'm just for the culture. We, we don't like... No, that's bullshit. Nobody gets in the music business this to not think and then run around and go buy a $40 million I, I think, house. That's I, not I, for I, the... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this shit is crazy. Yo, I never seen a level of this is this is the this next level glazing right here. This is it right here. This is this is top of the line. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is top of the line glazing right here. This is crazy. <laughs> Yo, I never seen nothing like this. This is crazy. <laughs> oh man, this nigga said nobody wants to be number one to go buy a forty-three million dollar home, nigga, bro. It's the moves he made, and and I, he could buy a he could buy a hundred million dollar house if he wants to. Why is that such a big deal? I don't get it. He has the money to do it, right? He didn't just buy it off of this. I'm sure Kendrick's been a millionaire. He's been that. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like y'all think Kendrick was broke. Like it's so crazy how how they look at Kendrick, man. It's so crazy. It's like they don't want to admit that this guy is the greatest artist, of, the greatest rapper artist of all time they don't want to admit it nobody wants to admit that he is by far better than drake he's by far better than cole all these people there's no comparison his albums get critically acclaimed he's successful he is probably the perfect artist when it comes to rap because all his music is good all his music get critically acclaimed he wins multiple awards and he doesn't stray away from uh the culture and this, excuse me, this is what y'all not understanding about him. I think y'all just be saying anything just to say anything like you said in the, in the beginning. And this is what it is, but let's keep it going. Keep it going. So, he so is not know, Boogie Down I, Production. I think I can answer, I think I can so answer Roy's question, right? Think I, think, is, I think what Drake was alluding to on the track, right? He was saying that, you know, because the, the, the song Mother Ah, he was saying how everybody in the family... Oh well, not everybody in the family, but he got his mother got molested by his uncle type shit, and she asked him, if he got molested, and he was like, no. Am I am I am I wrong, Rory? That 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 is the consensus of right. the song. Right. Okay. It felt so, really yes. weird because his mom, his mom who was touched by somebody in the family, was very mm. concerned about him and just assumed he was right. So 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 and Drake was no. alluding to him lying about being. Touched. I'm lying and him actually and being him actually touched being and playing touched. that character. That's what I'm trying 100%. to tell 100 percent That was what he... He's easy. He was playing the, the, the devil's advocate of, no, that's not what it was. This is what it is. That's why that's he why put it in the about, heart. That's part why you're lying about me being a pedophile. No, bro. <laughs> but he was wrong about the premise. That's what they're trying to get to, y'all. <laughs> he was wrong about the premise of the song. He said, that's the song that you said you was molested in. And he was never molested. <laughs> this is what you niggas not understanding. That's what y'all never understanding. He, Drake, made a blunder. That's just saying it what it is. He made a fucking blunder. Why are you sitting here trying to trying to spin it? Like, oh, he, he misspoke, nigga. Whatever you want to call it. It was a fucking blunder, nigga. He said, that's the song you said you got molested in. This is the reason why you always bringing up that child uh, uh, pedophile shit or something like that, he said. But he never was molested, nigga. <laughs> he, and now if Drake would have said, that's the song you said that your mother got molested in, then it would be something different. But he didn't say that. He said, that's the song that you said you got molested in. Talking about Kendrick. He used Kendrick in first person. It wasn't no third person, nothing. Oh, he was playing. He was saying in third person. No, he wasn't, nigga. No, he wasn't. It was a blunder. He got it wrong, nigga. Just say it, and it'll be fine. Like, damn. Lied about getting touched. Like, yeah, and the, the line got misconstrued with, oh, my God, that's not what he's saying. And Mother May I, she was talking about her pain and her. No, Drake wasn't even on that. That's why he took deep breaths, and, and, he, and he went and started going into character like he's transforming like the Hulk and transformed into young Kendrick. And started speaking from his perspective. So what are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, you niggas is wild. That's not what he said, bro. I I never seen nothing like this. I ne Yo, as 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 well as my forehead is big, I never seen nothing like this, bro. I never seen nothing like this.
Rams. I swear to you, I've never seen nothing like this. This is incredible. I'm telling you. And I'm not going to watch this whole video because it's long as hell. But this is incredible. I'm going to watch a little bit more of it and then I'll put the link in the description. You guys could go listen to the rest of it. But y'all get the y'all getting the the gist of it. Pause. So you guys think Kendrick lied on yeah, that song? No, no, nothing. No, he lied Drake, on the song. Is, Drake is saying it's the fact that he Drake lied. is saying that you yeah, that you lied. Basically, he lied, nigga. He got touched, nigga. Drake is saying you he lied, lied man. It's okay. So, okay. The, the reason why you're so obsessed with me and the pedophile, every time you hear Mariah Carey touch my body, <laughs> it, it sparks something in you, bro. And I'm gonna tell the world what it is. <laughs> okay, so. The, the... <laughs> Yo, I swear to you. So let me get this right. So y'all, this is the thing about you niggas, right? This is what really cracks me up. So, so let's just let's just go with your argument, right? So you basically saying that that Kendrick lied and Drake played and played it, uh, but that's not what Drake said. I'm gonna put the lyrics on the screen. That's not what he said. He literally said that's the song that you said that you got molested in. He said that. He didn't say you lied about getting molested. He said that's the song you said you got molested in. That's wrong. He didn't never said he got molested. It was his mother. Now, everybody said that, and you got called out on it, and now you're trying to flip it around as if, oh, he was playing in third person. He was saying it like he was Kendrick. That's why he sighed. Like, no, nigga. Drake ain't that deep, nigga. He ain't that deep. He said his mother came over, and he started talking to his mother. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened. And he, he like so you're saying that Drake confessed that he was touched. That's number one. Number two, why are we even talking about this as if this is something small or minor? You're making fun of people who got molested. I don't understand how you even making fun of that or even even talking about it to the point you're trying to twist it. If you're saying that Drake saying that he lied about he was actually touched, but he lied about it. Then why, why would he lie about that? We all know Kendrick Lamar from being an honest, grown man who talks about feelings and emotions. Why would he lie about that? That doesn't make any sense. People are not going to love him no less. Actually, if he was telling the truth about it and it, and it did happen to him, people would love him even more. Because they would say, oh, this, this young man, was he was abused when he was a kid. He was, he was abused. They would love him even more. But you guys are trying to twist it as if Drake was doing or, conf or bringing it out. But here's the best part about it. You sitting here saying that Drake uh, uh, made up a story and he said, you're lying. You have no proof of this. But then when Kendrick say that Drake has a daughter, then all of a sudden Kendrick's the worst. He's a liar and he, he shouldn't be trusted. He, he, he made up a whole story. Meet the Graham shouldn't even matter because he lied about that. It's like, get the fuck out of here, dog. Hey, I was saying to begin with. I don't make the rap battle rules, but I have a, a weird issue with somebody putting pedophile on someone that's not a proven pedophile. I, I don't like putting that on anyone's jacket unless it's proven, right? So now telling Kendrick that he lied about being touched and he actually got molested is okay? Yeah. <laughs> no, because the gloves are off and that's the Bro, yo, I swear to God, you niggas don't be thinking. Y'all, you literally do what you just said. Niggas just talk the talk, and that's exactly what you're doing right now. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. <laughs> you went on a campaign of fucking four weeks of calling but this look, man when you're, of, when you're in the thick of it at this point, right, where this is where we're at with it, now I'm going to have to do my part as people saying I'm not the rapper or, or whatever. So he's locking in in that way. We're saying we're just going to go there. So... If he can, if Kendrick can reap, uh, can rap from the perspective of your mom and your and your dad and talking to your son, why can I get in my bag and say, well, this is what you was talking about. If if you are angry and you was in therapy on all these albums, it could be a possibility that you're dealing with a gang of shit. Obviously, he talks about it. Yeah, he but look, even look how no, the no, yeah, and, and, can't and, play and, on that. And, he can't play on that. And I'm still on the side of of no rules, so it's fine. What book? Again, again, you niggas are trying to twist the whole thing, and 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 I want to say this, and I'm gonna end this. I know this is a great one. I wish I could do the whole thing, but it's just too long. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, actually, it's not that long, but me stopping it is I can't let it keep playing because I'm, I'm gonna keep stopping it. Maybe I'll do another part to it. I don't know. But look, here's the thing, right? And this is what really cracks me up about this whole thing. It just seems to me that people look at Kendrick as if he's a perfect human being and he can't do no wrong. But they look at Drake as he has failures, he has he has things, mistakes, and things he made. So people err and they side with him because the guy that they really look uh, look to to be respectable and the uppity man and the whatever, they looking towards Kendrick. So whatever Kendrick Lamar does and however he moves, people look at him in a respect that like no other. They don't respect Drake the same way. Even the people that's on this right now, because if they both was in the same room at the same time, they will look at Kendrick differently. They'll look at him as a man of morals and respect. That's how they come. Even I'm telling you, even Drake's friends would do that because he he moves with a level of respect and morals and a level of manhood that Drake doesn't move with. You know what I'm saying? Drake moves like he's a, he's cosplaying. He moves like he's he's this uh whatever you want to call it. But Kendrick moves like a, a a real man, and I think that that's why they're saying that. now they will put more ownership on Kendrick because they want him to fail, they want him to fold. But what they're not saying is, and this is the best part, what they're not saying is Kendrick warned Drake before this happened. He said we could have kept this friendly. He said that, and this is what they. This is why you know everything that these dudes say is totally disingenuous because they are not bringing up the fact that Kendrick tried to warn Drake. He even talked to Drake on the phone before it even happened, and Drake agreed to not doing it, and he did it anyway. So what are you saying? He went. Kendrick did two songs, Euphoria, and Six Sixteen in L. A. In both of those songs, he literally told Drake, don't go down that road. Don't go down that road. And Drake did it anyway. And I'm telling y'all, that's how I know that he has a mold in Drake's camp. Because he said that and he knew that Drake was doing Family Matters. He probably heard it already. And then after he heard it, what happened? He dropped Family Matters and Kendrick dropped um, Meet the Grams. And he was ready for it. That's what niggas not understand it. You dropped it right away. So how would you, this is my thing. How would you know that this man is going to drop a song and then you drop a song right away? It, and, and it basically ties into the song that you just did. How would you know that? Because he has somebody working on the inside. And that's how it goes. And Drake has another song called Man in the Mirror that they heard already and he never released it. Because they heard it and they're waiting for it. But again, they're being disingenuous. And this is why I can't have conversations with dude like this because they're not telling the truth. This could have been a friendly battle. All of this pedophile and all this, that would have never happened if Drake would have just not jumped out the window. He did. Saying that they free and all this stuff. And Kendrick said it in, he said it in Meet the Grams. Why do you have to stoop so low to discredit some, some innocent people? They ain't never do nothing to you. Why do you need to talk about them like that? That's messed up. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I ain't mean to crash your party, bro. But you, I told you not to talk about my family. And that's what happened. Them are doing. But y'all have just have to accept that it did not come across that way. No. It really, it just, everyone that, that everyone point, really just thought he just didn't listen to the fucking... No, album. because... And like, <laughs> Because there's a preconceived notion. Like, somebody can... we You, you could hear a recording, and if someone paints the picture, like, this person got, got raped, you're going to have that preconceived notion. Then you, li you listen to that same recording, and before that, someone said, this guy got shot. You're going to have the preconceived notion. The, whatever <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, bro, what are you talking about, bro? That's not what he's saying. Like, you niggas is wild. That's not what he's saying. So you're basically saying that the, it's the fans' fault because they listened before. It's like the jury. It's like the jury don't supposed to hear <laughs> the testimony. <laughs> they don't supposed to hear nothing. They supposed to close their ears. They better not watch TV and all this stuff. Like, bro, there's no preconceived notion. The song, that song was done two years ago, and Drake messed up. He said, that's the song that you, that's the song that you talked about you got molested in. And you know what I'm saying? That's why you always bringing up this. Like, like no. 
he could have said, listen, bro, I don't believe, I don't believe that you, that you, uh, it was, I don't believe, I believe you lied to your mother. And that's what he should have said, but he didn't say that. He said, that's the song that you said you got molested in. He never said he got molested. You can't get around that. There's no way around that. You can't. He said that in the verse, bro. You can't get around it. You can't try to shape it into any other thing, bro. Here, you're going to make it fit. How we started off, he started off pretending he was Kendrick Lamar <laughs> by talking about the Poston Award winner and all, all these. He go, got in his body. And then, then he went on. But there's an actual part two. I don't even want to say too much, but there was more records. The man had a treasure chest full of records shut that up. he was going to release. Sh nigga, shut up. Nigga, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> bro, bro, you, you, you can't, this, this is how you know Drake, Drake conceded, bro, he lost, and, and this whole thing about T, because he la rapped last, that means that he actually won the battle, that's bullshit, because if you're a battle rapper, and you lose all two, the first two rounds, you get body, clearly you lose, and just so happens, I rap at the end, my round was, was crazy at the end, and then you rap at the end, and just because you rap last, that doesn't mean you won the battle. <laughs> because you go last, he choked. The last round, the heart park six, the best part about that was the beat. Outside of that, he choked. He choked in that round, bro. And he choked, and he, and he conceded. You could hear in his voice, he gave up. There's no way around that. There's no way around the heart part six being a bad song, bro. It was terrible, and he he knew it was terrible because he deleted it. There's no way around it. You can't get around that, bro. You can't. He's saying, "Yeah, I'm 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 on going on vacation." The man beat you into a vacation, nigga. He made the nigga go on vacation. So how are you sitting here saying that? Oh, it's because he just he just that. Okay. And another thing too, and I'm gonna end this. Another thing too, you sit here and say that he needs to keep up the hits and he needs to keep up. Now he's in a whole nother. Uh, uh, fan bracket and all this stuff. But what about Drake? What about Drake? How come he don't need to keep it up? He doesn't. He doesn't. He 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 literally dropped all these songs and they went nowhere. So why 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 he can't keep it up? This is what y'all should be asking this nigga. It's like what are we talking about here? You niggas are just talking to talk and they and they just talking over each other, not even listening to none of the ideas. It's crazy. Kendrick threw up the white flag. Kendrick threw up the white flag because I don't know what white flag. Drake said, all Drake said is, I'm going on vacation, dog. Like, hit me when you're ready to go. Hold on. That's literally throwing up a white flag. If a nigga tell you that you could keep rapping until you done, I'm going on vacation. That means we were engaging into a battle, and I decided to go the other way. That's retreating, bro. He retreated. You can't get around this shit. This is crazy. You can't get around it. He retreated. He was the one that said, I'm giving up. So what happens if he didn't say that? Kendrick could have responded with another song after that. If he came and said, I'm going to keep going until you keep going. And we're going to keep going. If he said that, no. He came out and said, yeah, man. It's good to get the, the pen working, but I would keep this joint going. But you got this shit burnt out, man. You know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, you could keep rap, you could make ten other records, but I'm going on vacation, bro. He literally said that, nigga. <laughs> and you trying to say that he didn't wave the white flag? The nigga literally said he's leaving. You get punched in the face and you walk out the door and say, bro, you could keep on throwing punches, but I'm out of here. Like he lost, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. This is where I'm. I'm. I'm a huge Drake fan, but when y'all talk this way, Kendrick threw the white flag up. Like, can we just all be realistic here? <laughs> nah, yeah. Nah, you I think you're, ta you're talking that, about his Somebody for, that went for two fucking I think you're talking about him saying, Instagram, like, nonstop saying, yo. No, drop, what drop, I'm drop, saying drop. is. And then he, at the end of Hard Part 6, was like, damn, you, yo, you really, you did too much. Then man. how come like, there was no this. rebuttal? <laughs> how come there was no rebuttal? Because he don't have to. said, you <laughs> really. Because he don't have to, because your man quit. <laughs> I can't do this no more, bro. I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here. I'm sorry. I got to end this. I gotta end it. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That was crazy. So how come there was no rebuttal? What? Is, what? If I if somebody punched you in the face, right? 
and we fighting, and you get punched in the nose. <clears throat> Alright, bro, no more punching, bro. Alright, man. You know what? You got this shit burnt the fuck out, nigga. Alright, man. That's it, man. I'm done, bro. That's it. I'm going on vacation. Why do I need to keep on hitting you? You literally just said that you're going on vacation. You just took a break. That was it. And then on top of that, you try to sneak this me after that a couple of times. It's like, bro, what are we talking about here? Like, be like, your man, your man took an L, bro. He took an L. Just, just admit it. He took an L. It would be better if you say he took an L and everybody know he took an L. He'd probably come back stronger. Who knows? But he took an L. And you niggas are sitting here trying to act as if he didn't take this L. He took that L, bro. That's it. There's no way around it, bro. He took it. <laughs> he took the L. He got punched in the shit at the end with with uh with uh, uh not like us. He got he got he got bombed. He got bombed on all four songs, bro. He got bombed on. Do, 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 do. He got bombed on, bro. And he couldn't keep up. That's the thing. That's the thing that people ain't, ain't talking about. We go from the songs. We go from euphoria, then we push ups to euphoria. Smoke. 616, tell him smoke. Uh, uh, meet the Grams, Family Matters, smoke. Not like us, Hard Part Sick, smoke. He smoked them on every song, bro. And I don't care if y'all trying to use Family Matters as the catalyst to oh, he won the battle because this one song, because it was three different beats. It was like three different songs in one. It don't matter, bro. He counted it as one song. He can have three, he can have 20 beats. If he's continuous and it's one track, that's one song, bro. That's one song. If he released it in stages and different parts, it'd be something different. But it's one fucking song. That's it. And he lost, bro. Y'all could try to dance around it. Oh, he was talking in third person. That's what happened. It was him saying that he was saying that Kendrick was lying. He was lying about it. He was like, he actually did get touched. And da, 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 da. It's like, wait a minute. That's not what Drake said now. He didn't say that in the song. He said, that's the song that you said you got molested in. But Kendrick never said he got molested. So you trying to say that he's talking for Kendrick now? Like, I don't know. It's just stupid. Either way, man, that was a great video. I won't lie. But I'm out of here, man. Y'all have yourself a good day. See y'all. Peace. Bye.